first of a series of pre-season games. Um, what, what did you learn this evening? Yeah, it was, uh, I think it was a good workout for both sides, which is obviously paramount at this uh, at this stage of the season. Um, it was nice to you know finish the game in, in, in the manner that we did and score the goals. That's always a, a pleasing um, aspect. Uh, yeah, delighted with the, you know with really with the way that we put a few trialists in there and mixed it around and you know, kept a strong side along along with that. Um, yeah, you know, naturally we're, we're delighted with that, that result and um, hopefully, you know, we can build on it moving forward to Saturday. So some really sharp finishing in front of goal this evening. Um, Brad Rolt's goal, beautiful from uh, yeah. Matt Lowe's first time cross. Yeah, there, there were some terrific goals there. And you look at it and, and, you know, what you're asking players to go and do and that's the big thing, isn't it? We've had, you know, prior to, I think, the second goal, we had the ball flash across the box on a lot of occasions and not got on the end of it uh, from some good moments. But certainly... Um, you know the, the boys stuck to the to the task and, and you know stretched them and worked them and as you say those little bits of quality whether I think it was the final sort of 20 minutes or so like you know where we you know really stamped our authority on the game was was you know especially pleasing clearly we're, we're going to come up against obviously stronger opposition than Corby with the greatest respect but it's a nice start and, and when you're sort of you know putting the new players in and one or two trials as well it's never an easy situation to go in there and you know, make your mark. You know, Corby were resilient first half and, and made life tough for us. Had you know one or two moments themselves. Um, so yeah, to come through it and, and, and you know knuckle down to the task was, as I say, pleasing. So one or two trialists turning out this evening, but also two new signings in Brad and, and, and Louis. Yeah, they're, you know they they're younger boys that um, obviously we're very hopeful for. We've seen a little bit of Brad um, early part of last season. You know, we're really hopeful that he'll, he'll kick on from, from where he was at. Clearly, he's got to, you know, establish himself and get into the side and prove what he's capable of. But, you know, his work rate was exceptional tonight and his finish was something, we, you know, we know Brad can do. Um, so, yeah, you know, pleasing on that front. Louis, again, has, you know, gone about his business very well. Um, and again, you know, 20 years old, we're really hopeful that we, you know, we can progress Louis in a similar way that we have, you know, other centre-halves that have played alongside Gaz. So, um, yeah, there's, you know, there's, there's a couple of additions, but clearly we want to make more before the start of the season. But, you know, this is a, this is a nice start to, at this point. Um, it's clearly a lot of work still to do. And some big players missing this evening. No serious injury worries? No, no, it's not injuries. One or two are isolating. Um, one's at a funeral. So, yeah, you know, for different reasons. And a little bit the worry is moving forward with it, you know, having to isolate for 10 days. It takes players out of the, out the picture for more than you'd like, really. But, um, you know, let's hope it's not a sign of things to come and things do settle down. We don't have to face that situation too much in the, in the regular season. Uh, and then finally, it's the first game of this new trophy between uh, Northamptonshire clubs, Newlands Shields. Um, good, good feel this evening, competitive, yeah, I think more so than you might have in a, in a, in a pre-season. I think so, I think you know, pre-season can you know, sometimes feel like a little bit of a non-event, can't it? Um, nobody gets carried away in pre-season, but clearly you know, with, a, with the trophy and you know, something at the end of it, everything's got, you know, we've all got something to play for. Um, you know, sides against games against you know sides like Corby and Ketcher and always keenly fought whatever competition you play them in. And yeah, it's just nice that you know there's some sort of trophy at the end of it. It just puts that little bit of edge, hopefully, where you you know you get that little bit more out of people through pre-season. Um, so yeah, look, let's hope it's a, an idea and a, a, an initiative that it takes off, and you know we continue developing coming seasons. I think it's great for you know for the local area to to see these games. You know, it's probably not ideal you're playing. Corby twice and Kettering twice. Ideally, you'd like the diamonds in there, I think. But um, still, it, you know, hopefully the format will take off and you know that will move forward in, in coming months and, and seasons. And then finally, um, trip to Banbury on Saturday. Yeah, um, again, you know, it's never an easy place to go, and, and obviously bragging rights are, are at stake. So it, it, it creates and, and throws up an, another test and another challenge for us. And these are the things that you want through pre-season are different challenges and. Uh, and, and the like, and um, yeah, Bambi certainly will be that. They'll have some good players. They're, they're a strong Southern Leeds side, and, and, and you know we know we need to be right, at, you know, at the races to, to overcome them. So you know that's the reason we put that game in there, and, and hopefully you know again both sides enjoy it and, and gain something from it. It's been a really enjoyable evening here at St James Park. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you.